Okay, um, let's talk about how to convert high order differential equation into the system of first order differential equations. Right? So, well, this is important because like we know how we can solve uh, the system of first order equation. Okay, and, and we will talk about it. Then, like, which means like an even is higher, high order differential equation, as long as you can convert as a system of first order, then like we can take care of all the high order differences. Okay? So let's start from number 16. Okay, it is second order. But like, you know, we can apply this technique to higher order one. Okay, so let's start from second order. Okay, here we go. So let me define new variable x1 and x2 to set up the system. And x2s, u prime. Then, since u1 is, uh, x1 is u, ma x2 is x1 prime. That's obvious, right? And then, like, we can talk about a little bit more. And since we're in the second order, that we have to write the second order in terms of x1 or x2, okay? So, uh, u double prime is x2 prime. Is that clear? Then now, let me try to replace all the u term in uh, u in terms of x1 and x2, okay? Here we go. Then my second order, which are uh, homogeneous second order differential equation can be written in terms of x1 and x2. And u double prime is x2 prime. And u prime is x2. And u is x1. Is it okay? So like, you know, now my differential equation is replaced with uh, x1 and x2 now, okay? Then, okay, my x1 and x2 uh, satisfy Does it make sense? Okay. So because like you know, it's not the like you know second order anymore, but like it is like you know the system of first order. Okay. So let me write it like this way. As we defined, ma x one prime is x two, and also x two prime is equal to. Let me move like you know this part to the right hand side. Okay. Then it is uh, negative point five x2 minus x1, okay? Then like we already, okay, and also like, you know, look at that. Like since the u0 equals zero, then uh, we say x1 is u, right? Then we can say x1, zero equals zero. And since u prime zero equals one, we define u prime as x2, right? Then we can write u2, zero equals one, is that okay? Then do you remember like we already practiced this one uh, uh, to write, like this system of like, you know, first order differential equation as the like uh, matrix, right? Matrix form. Then, it is, can be written by x1 prime x2 prime equal to, um, since there's no uh, x1 term in the first equation, zero and one, and negative one and negative point five and x one and x two. Is okay? So we can write like this way. 